I'm an ape man, I'm an ape ape man, yeah I'm an ape man. Hi there, Terence McGuana here, welcome back to Canon Forever and today we're going to look at the film Link from 1986. Dr. Stephen Phillip is researching the link between man and ape from his remote mansion by the English coast. American student Jane Chase is invited to assist him with his experiments that he carries out with his highly intelligent chimpanzees. Eventually Jane is left alone in the mansion and the chimps become more aggressive towards each other and their new guest. I first became aware of this film when it came out on videotape in 1987. My, my video store never had this movie but I, they used to give you these magazines at the time free in the video store. They would give you a sort of selection of the latest releases and I remember seeing the box cover for this one, Link, and it had a chimpanzee uh, dressed in a butler's uniform. I never understood what this movie was all about, but that picture is was just tattooed to my mind's eye, right? And I could always just, I can picture it right now when I think about it. It's technically not a canon film, but e EMI films got bought out by canon before this film got released. And EMI had already done some considerable cuts to this film, and then canon films took over and they cut it down even more. What I was expecting here was a really decent animal horror film. I do like a good animal horror film, right? And there are still plenty out there that I need to check out, including Shakma about the killer baboon. Still not watched that. Even though I've got it, I need to watch Shakma at some point. This film was a minor disappointment for me, as it's uh, it is a horror film, right? And it takes a long time to get to the actual horror moments in it. This, and it was directed by Richard Franklin, who also directed probably what I would say is one of the best horror sequels, Cycle 2. I love the way that they actually make you feel sorry for Norman Bates throughout Cycle 2. It is a really, really great sequel, right, and really underappreciated, I think. This character played by Terence Stamp, he's, he's doing the experiments on chimpanzees. And he has this chimpanzee dressed up as a butler that acts like a butler. Uh, called Link and it smokes cigars and just pretends to be like a human all the time. Now the reason for this is it's a former circus performer, right? We, we, we understand that Link is a former circus performer and then what happens is, is the, uh, the scientist, he goes away, he goes away to London or somewhere like that and leaves Elizabeth Shue's character alone in this mansion with the chimpanzees and she's having a great time, she loves these creatures but they they, they drop all these this pieces of information of how violent these, these animals can become. Strangely in this film, the, the Link is not played by a chimpanzee. It's actually an orangutan that's been dyed black and it's got these fake ears on. I never noticed this while watching it. I read about this afterwards, that this is what they did to achieve this character. It can be quite scary looking. There are, there, are some, there are some creepy moments in this film, right? But it really doesn't pack the punch that it needs to. Elizabeth Shue, she's stuck in this house by herself and she does a good performance considering that she's alone in most of the scenes in this movie. I think Elizabeth Shue is fine in this film, right? And the cinematography is gorgeous. They even shot it here in Scotland, doubling for England, right? The locations are just exquisite. And there is a moment in it that is extremely unsettling, right? Where Elizabeth Shue's character is going for a shower, as you do, right? And Link, the chimpanzee butler, which is actually an orangutan dressed up to look like a chimpanzee playing a butler, comes in and ogles her in the shower. And this, this goes on for quite a bit. This goes on for quite a bit, right? You know, you get that kind of thing. You know, it, we've all had to like strip off in front of like a pet, right? There's the cat sitting there and you've had to take your trousers off and you think, that cat's looking at me funny, right? It, it, it really comes across as creepy like this. This ape is really creeping on her, right? Especially when we know that uh, they're meant to be highly intelligent, right? And they demonstrate these experiments that show off how intelligent these creatures are. I hope you don't mind spoilers, right? But eventually in this story, what happens is Elizabeth Shue's boyfriend from college shows up with his buddies and they all start getting chased around the mansion by Link and he goes ape <laughs> on them, right? There are moments in it where it's just so brilliantly executed. The camera work is just fantastic. There was this over the head shot where Link is running up the stairs and chasing our characters and the crane is going right over the into, into another room. That was a gorgeous shot. 
so well done. But yeah, it takes so long for it to get to being a really interesting horror film. I'm all for a slow burn, right? I love a slow burn, but it has to have momentum. It has to build up in stages. This film takes forever, and then when it gets to the horror moments in it, it's it's too late. It's just It just feels kind of out of place now. The film just felt like a kind of... You know, a, a story about a girl who hangs around with chimpanzees and then all of a sudden we're in a horror movie. Although they've dropped little hints and little plants to what's coming, it's not enough. We needed some, some more incidents in the earlier scenes to really give it that momentum. And it's funny that Canon have cut this and Thorny Amai had cut this film down by about 9 minutes in total. I'm actually pleased that they did. I'm surprised they didn't order some reshoots to go get some more get some more horror in there. That would have been nice. It would have been nice to get a little bit more horror in the earlier scenes. Yeah, it is a gorgeous looking film. Well acted, well directed. Everything's done exquisitely well. It just is pacing. It's pacing is an absolute drag. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscription button. I'm Terence McGuana. I'll be back again with another Canon film. Hope to see you then. Okay, bye.